Hello and welcome back to another video. This is going to be a mock build challenge where I try to build the coolest lightsaber duels from episode 1, 2, and 3, the prequel trilogy of Star Wars. For the first build I'll have 1 hour, the second build I'll have 2, and the third build I'll have 3 hours, so you'll be able to compare the amount of detail from a 1 hour mock all the way up to a 3 hour mock. With the explanation out of the way, let's get started. I'm sure this comes as no surprise to any of you, but the lightsaber duel that I have chosen from episode 1 is Duel of the Fates, where Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan take on Darth Maul in the reactor room on Naboo. So the first thing that I built was the walkway that Obi-Wan and Darth Maul are going to be fighting on. This is built with snot technique, which is studs not on top, mostly plates and tiles and then bricks in the middle. And then moving on to the floor section, I did some more plates and tiles attached with brackets to some regular plates and then tiled off everything there. And then I wanted to start making a door because in the original screenshot, you can see straight into the hangar behind there. And then I stuck everything on some bricks to add in some height. And then I started building the wall and I wanted to have some detail, but I obviously couldn't waste too much time focusing on that. So I have some masonry bricks and then some snot bricks going to add in some tiles just for added detail into the wall. And then attaching the door was just some bricks and brackets. And then for the round area where Qui-Gon is standing, I used slopes and curved slopes to create somewhat of a round shape. And then I added in some white one by two plates like the lights going around the sides. And then I started trying to figure out how to attach the walkway that I had built. And this was a little bit of a challenge because I had made it snot so there wasn't really any good connection points. But I ended up using a bar attached with clips to either side. Then I started working on the base, tiling it off and figuring out the correct size. And the reason that I'm building a base is because I want to have one of the reactor beams. So I'm just quickly tiling everything off and then figuring out where I want the beam to go. And beam I'm building out of trans clear bricks because I don't really have any cylinders in trans clear or purple. So I'm figuring out how to make those pillars into kind of a round cylindrical shape. And then I had to switch around the layout because the way that I had it originally, the pillar would have just been right in the middle of the two sections and that didn't really work. So I switched around and had it on the left side of the bridge. So here you can see the final product and I'm actually really happy with this. This was such a fun thing to do. I've never really done anything like this where I try and build something and not really care as much about the details I'm able to include but just capture the scene in a short period of time. And overall, I am really happy with this. It's a nice little display to show off some figures and it was such a fun building process. So I'm definitely excited to start on the next build, but for now you guys can just enjoy a few more pictures of the mock. For episode 2, I chose the fight where Anakin and Obi-Wan take on Count Dooku on Geonosis. Starting off, I knew that I wanted to capture the floor design on Geonosis, so I started by making a big snot base with a bunch of big bricks and obviously some black around the front and the sides because I wanted to have a black border to just finish off the completed look. And then I went ahead and started making the design for the floor tiles and I used light bluish gray curved slopes and made some ovals and then outlined it with the dark gray slopes. And this actually captured the look of the floor tiles really, really well. So I'm really happy with that. But I discovered that it was taking up way too many parts to fit in my original base size. So I went ahead and just made as many of them as I could and then figured out how big to make the base after that. So then I went ahead and made a smaller base and put all of those tiles back in and added in some 1x2 plates on the end of the dark bluish gray sections with some tiles, and then it was time to work on the backdrop. And because this was a build challenge and I only had two hours to build the mock, I decided to use plates on their sides and then to texture it with slopes and plates and wedges afterwards because it comes up with a pretty nice look and it's also way easier and faster and less parts intensive than using just regular rock work. And then I went through and added in some piping to keep that look of the inside of the Geonosian room. And then to finish up, I added in some crates and the figures. The final product of this mock is something that I'm actually very proud of. 
even though I only had two hours to build this, there aren't many things that I would change on this mock. There's a few things that I would touch up and make look cleaner, but the floor design in the wall came out basically exactly the way that I was hoping, and I'm just really proud of this mock. jokes aside, what I'm doing is still kind of related. It is the fight between Anakin and Sindralig in the Jedi Temple during Order 66. Starting off, I wanted to build the base, and there was a lot of complicated snot work going into this. The Jedi Temple has a bunch of different colors and patterns on the floor, and I really wanted to capture that because I feel that is one of the more iconic parts of the temple. And I built in these snot bricks, which is going to be the foundation for the bookshelves or the library that I'm going to have on the left side of the mock. And then the next thing was building the strip of medium nougat that is going to be in the middle of the mock. And because I didn't have that many bricks, I actually built this with plates and tiles. So then I added panels so that I could elevate it up half a plate and have the entire floor be level. And then I started working on the right side of the mock. I'm going to put a staircase here. So I'm starting with the outline in medium nougat and dark tan and then adding in some snot bricks so I have connection points for the staircase. And then the staircase was just a bunch of plates and tiles going up in one stud increments. And then I started working on the bookshelves, which is a bunch of jumper plates and then tiles on top of it. And using snot bricks, I'm attaching various different colors of translucent pieces, blue and clear, and then having some dividers with the black plates to kind of break up the books and get that Jedi Temple library look. And I went ahead and made another one to capture the look of the library in the temple. And then I wanted to add in some height. So I grabbed these pillar pieces, which aren't the best looking things, but they saved time. And then I had to rearrange the way that I had set up this staircase to allow me to put the pillars on either side of the staircase. And then I went on to building the main floor for that section, which is a bunch more snot work, but it turned out pretty nice. And then for the railing, I just did some snot bricks with cylinders attached and tiles on top. And then I started building the head busts that are at the base of the bookshelves. And then I started working on the other side and I didn't have many of the pieces I was using for the snot sections left. So I went ahead and just did a more traditional dark tan and dark red, capturing that look of the carpet that we see throughout the temple. And then the same railing technique with the cylinders and tiles. And then I started working on the window section. And this was a little bit of a challenge because of the limited parts variety that I had left. So I used some slopes and outlined the shape of the window. The end result is something that I'm very happy with. It captures the look of the Jedi Temple and the feel very well, in my opinion. And all of the intricate techniques used in the floors and the bookshelves just really bring through that finished, polished look. And I'm just really proud of the way that this came together. Which mock was your favorite? Was it the Episode 1, Duel of the Fates, Episode 2, Anakin and Obi-Wan vs. Count Dooku, or Episode 3, Order 66, Anakin vs. Sindralig? I really enjoyed challenging myself to build these mocks to the best of my ability 
in the time constraints that I gave myself and I think I did a pretty good job. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you have any other ideas for scenes that I can build to continue on this mock challenge. But that's going to wrap up this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.